and welcome back to MTG Grinders. Uh, we're still doing recordings for the GPT Guff Shepparton, and here we are, round six, game one, with Byron playing Abzan mid range uh, versus Charles playing Tima mid range. Or as uh, you'd like to say, Trent. <laughs> Chow dear, <laughs> Timur. Timur. Chow da. Say it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, we got a thought sees. Got a thought sees. Now this would be a a turn two thought sees. Yeah, the turn two thought sees. Um, looks like oh, stop in the Nile. He's gonna say no. He wants to hide his hand. That's a nineteen. Nineteen. No, nineteen to twenty. That's a. That's an interesting one. Um, nice. I'm a, yeah, it should be 19 to 20 now with the uh, red dice. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Stubborn Nile myself. Um, I think it's quite a powerful card. Yep. Um, certainly strong in Commander. Uh, Polychronos off the top for Charles. Um, actually, interesting to commentate something a little different. Say a couple more words other outside of Sea Rhino. Sea Rhino. Wingmate Rock. Like, yeah, cool guys. Very powerful card. Oh, there we go. There's another card. Brumas. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a bro. Uh, Byron knows what's going on. He's got the right cards. And uh, Brumaz brings bros with him as well. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's Brumaz. He's got some friends. Yeah, he likes to party. He likes to party. Yeah, crack from Charles. Ooh. No. Land hits the field, then back into the deck. Yep. And back on the field. There we okay, go. Good. Yep, we've got a decision. We figured it out eventually. Yep. Uh, now, what do we expect from the Tamua mid range deck, <laughs> Trent? Um, well, I had the privilege of playing against this uh, earlier on in the day, and it was actually rather or like weird in the ways of I I didn't actually expect what what came out. Um, where there was I thought it's Stormbreath Dragon, there was Arbor Colossus, there was um, yep. instead of Goblin Rabble Master. And Boon Sadia, there was um, holding outbursts. Like it was very, um, very flavorful. Like you see that yep. the gate there, the holding outburst. Obviously, there's a storm breath drag in there. Um, and we've got to attack for four there. Yeah, attack in for four. Yeah, uh, putting him down to fourteen. Xenagos Reveler, um, negate outburst, Polychronos, Sarkin, storm breath. A lot of oh, he's going to discard. This isn't good though. Um, Oh, there we go. We've got the dice catching up. Yeah, thumb, thumb, <laughs> Byron, up. thumbs up, mate. Yeah, thumbs up to the out. camera. Thanks, Byron. This Appreciate is, that. Oh, this is rough. This is Byron. Uh, this is not Byron getting carried away. It's Brimaz getting yeah, carried he's away. Yeah, carrying it away. He's mm. Big shoulders. And uh, oh, Reaper of the Wilds. There's a card that uh, you don't often see um, played in the in the Amazon list. That's a really, a, a really a, good time to, to press it out there though, because you've got a few guys that can mm. be killed to trigger the sky, the scry from the Reaper. And a Rabble Master. That's an interesting one. And the 1-1 one, one token is going to be eaten. No scry? Ah, Does it. Reaper of the Wilds, whenever a creature dies, or is it, oh, let me, let me check, check a Rooney? But no, this, really, one, this one's over. Doesn't yeah. really matter because it's over. Byron sweeps that one right real quick. Another thumbs up from him as well. <laughs> and um, we'll check Reaper of the Wilds in the break and be back for round two. Yeah, whenever another creature dies.